Welcome back to Josiah Plays Torchlight. I am playing Torchlight. Oops, I'm wasting mana is what I'm doing. So I'm going to use this shrine even though I don't need much healing because I'm about to go down to the next level. So screw it. I just got a bunch of loot too. Gloves. Lime buckled vambrace of the elephant. Has more armor, has health. Has electrical resist. Yeah, I better wear those. Ooh, here's some 12 armor, but I lose health and chance to reflect. I don't like that, so I'm gonna sell it. Vital copper ring, gonna sell. Attentive copper ring, gonna sell. Matters inventory getting closer to full. Eventually, I'm gonna do that thing right send him back to town to sell stuff but thus far I haven't really needed to stairs down to level six what am I doing on quests oh I got Kemeroth the cutter on floor six and I have to find the overseers library and find a piece of shimmering ember alright down to the next level level six the levels are surprisingly small lair of the sisters uh oh we have a lectern here with a scroll on it. Cool. Shadow Recluse, Pale Shamblers. Yay, and I gained a level. I do like gaining a level. So I can go down that way, or I can come over here. Start wrecking some shop. <laughs> that slash attack is totally beastly. Alright, I like it. So, take a moment here to do my level up. We'll go two strength, three defense this time. More defense seems like a good idea to not get killed so easy. I have a skill point. Uh, we'll go back into my dual wielding here. Getting close to maxing that out. TNT barrel. Shoot that. TNT. Oh, I can go this way. But first, let's kill. This guy's least some poison gas we'll get away from him so we'll go back that way in a second let's you have sprung a trap. oh no I've sprung a trap there's all kinds of guys here ooh Kazan Pike the noxious is here he was now he just adds to my legend Yes, I am the one who killed Kezin Pike the Noxious, and I'm a little disappointed by the obnoxiously small amount of loot he dropped. More like Kezin Pike the Obnoxious, am I right? Ooh, a scimitar. Oh yeah. Just did my stampede and then switched over to my big slash and used that. The Spectre here better drink a potion. Don't want to get too... Here's a construct. Some zombies. Bunch of loot. Barrel. Urn. Pick up a little gold here. Kill this guy. The last couple guys here.
kill these archers. Okay. Everything in the immediate area is dead. I'm gonna step back and take stock. Like, I can't... Like, that... Over, all that level-looking stuff over there is just literally decorative, right? It's just there to look cool and make the place seem bigger and, than it really is. Oh, hi, skeleton. Yeah, have a seat. Okay. What did I get? So let's take a look at my loots. Jack boots, gonna sell those. Uh, Brandy leather van brace is kind of nice. Has two sockets. Increases ice damage. Has health. Has mana. Uh, I don't like it. Selling it. Ooh, a necklace. I don't even have a necklace. So this is by default an upgrade. Defense, health, increases fire damage. Sweet. Leather hood. Lucky leather hood. Four armor, increased magic fine. No, I'm good. Um, tent of copper ring, I'm good. Ooh, a saber. 76 damage per second. And here's a scimitar that does 65. So the scimitar and a smoothbore rifle. Give that to the dog. Leather crest, give that to the dog. So the scimitar I don't think is actually any good for me. But this saber is is good. It's better than... Let's see. This axe does 66 and armor degraded. This mace does 85. So I will use this instead of the axe. And I will give the axe to the dog. Your pet's inventory is full. You can send your pet back to town by clicking on the green arrow button in the pet interface. Your pet will depart for a short time to go sell the contents of its inventory, then bring the profits back to you. Cool, I've been wanting to use that feature. So here it is, send pet back to town. Your pet has departed. Your pet has departed. So, Oh, and it shows me a timer of how many seconds it'll be before my pet is back. That's awesome. I'm gonna drink a potion. And I now have my new scimitar and a mace. Awesome. So my pet will be back in 30 seconds. How cool is that? Whoa. It's pretty neat. Oh, there's a bunch of guys over there. Oops. Wrong skill. Huh. Your pet returns from down and brings you 743 gold. Thanks, pet. Need a potion here. Oh, Kamaroth the Cutter is right there. No wonder I'm getting my ass kicked. Just killed a ton, a ton of skeletons. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Ooh, a lever. Another lever. Another lever. I don't know what those did, but I'm hoping they opened secret rooms full of treasure! Um, okay. I'm in the lair of the sisters here. Which is what, level 6 of the dungeon? Yeah, it must be, because I just killed Kemeroth the Cutter. Here on floor 6. Just going back to see if there's any secret rooms that just opened up, but I kind of don't think so. At least not back this way. Gonna check my loot in a second. Also, my pet came back and brought me 700 and some odd gold. Thanks. Thanks, Matter. Good dog. Who's a good dog? Matter's like, arf, I am. 
So I can go that way. Oh, some bajiggity over there. I already pulled these levers. Get away from the poison gas. Get away, get away. I should probably drink a potion. Cool. I'm liking this game. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got a big crazy boss there. What's up, Aban Doom the Defiler? Well, had to stop you. I can't have you defiling things. And I gained fame for that. I am Axstein the Tolerated, after all. Got a certain reputation to uphold. Protecting Copper Ring, Dax and Poison Resist. <gasps> oh, I got spells, too. Hold on, we'll look at those in a second. I'll give that to the dog, give that to the dog, give that to the dog. Identify this. Ooh, brittle bone rifle. Oh, I don't even have close to 15 decks. And lemon leather baltius. Three armor, one socket. Electric and fire damage. No, I'm good. So I also have some spells here. I have this summon archers two spell. I could learn it, or I could uh, teach it to my dog, or I could just sell it. That doesn't sound that good to me. Elemental Protection 1. The caster is buffered by increased elemental resistances. That sounds kind of good. Maybe I'll uh, learn that. So I now know that spell. Um, costs 8 mana, and it gives me 1 minute of plus 3 to all resistances. Oh, and I can... I can skill it up? Is that right? Oh yeah, it's right down here. So I could spend points on it to make that spell better. That's pretty cool. Um, let's put it... Oh. Let's put it on my bar here. And... No, no. This isn't, this isn't what I want. I want... I, w I want... I don't want it there. Yeah. There we go. No. No, I, I want... <laughs> I don't... Uh, game, you're fucking with me. There we go. I want I want those two on my tab thingies. My two, my two like, main attacks. I'll just hit four if I want to cast that spell. Which, what the hell, let's try it out. Do I have an indicator anywhere showing me that I currently have a buff? I mean, I have the glowy effect. But I don't seem to have, like, an indicator, like a buff icon showing me how much duration is. Oh, well, I guess the cooldown is the same as the duration. So I can just watch that ticking down to see that I... Um, yeah. Alright, let's finish clearing out the lair of the sisters here. And... It would probably behoove me to have a potion. Skeletons are just like dropping down all crazy. This is awesome. Let's be careful here. I have a rotted chanter back there. I don't like those rotted chanters. Oh, I gotta get out of the poison. Come on, matter. And that actually is all the time we have for this video. Thanks for watching Josiah Plays Torchlight. See you next time.